Hey everybody, <clears throat> gonna wait till some of you find me. It was a little late coming on, had a little technical difficulty, but I think we're good now. Come and find me, just so I know. I just wanna make sure you guys can hear me. Hey everybody, come on in as you find me. Today we are doing a very, very special event. Uh, we have seven mandates from heaven for 2018. And so we're going to be talking about that in just a few minutes. But can you say hello to me? Hi, Louise. Good to see you. Uh, can you say hello to me and let me know if you can hear my sound? Oh, thank you, Lara. You're so good for my ego. <laughs> yes. Can you Can you guys hear me? Hi, Karen. Great. Oh, good. Thank you. Yay. That's so great. I was nervous about that. Well, happy holidays, everyone. Hope you guys are surviving the intensity of the energies uh, coming on. And today we have a very special talk for you all especially for those of you who kind of sense or know that you're here to be of service to others uh, in a big way. Maybe you have some special gifts or a gift of writing or art. Um, maybe you're a healer or teacher and you have a sneaky suspicion that your mission should, should be just a little, <clears throat> just a little bigger, right? You might be getting called to to go into a broader or different a uh, different medium or maybe you're working a nine to five and you've been dreaming about open up, opening up a heart-centered heartfelt business so oh karen oh thank you so great uh so good to see all you guys some of you guys i've seen every day almost every day this week so I'm glad you are here because a spirit gave me some really specific, strangely, I mean, strangely down to earth, extremely practical and a little heavy hitting in certain places. I was actually a little shocked to, to, uh, to see some of that. Um, so some of it might sound like tough love, but you know, all of us need a little tough love, a little, little cosmic, little cosmic, little, little pimp slap every once in a while to, to, to get us, to get us right. Right. And so even though this, some of this might come across as being tough love, it's actually coming from such an extremely loving place. I'm telling you, when I started writing this, it, it came with a sense of urgency. Like there's people out there that really need to hear this. And this year you need to take this shit very seriously. You got to take these habits to task. So when I say habits, there's things that we're all doing that are energy leaks, energy sucks. So these seven things are what spirit has pointed out are energy leaks that you are to look at and, and items that you are to look at if you want to start rocking your mission and have the energy for it. So some of these are really specifically about taking radical self-care or what I'm calling radical soul care. And even though they come in the form of these very practical things, what you're actually doing is tending to your soul, conserving your energy so when you're ready to strike, you can pounce like a tiger or you can strike like, light, like lightning. And so that is the key, is clearing our energy leaks, all those things we're putting energy into that are not serving us in different ways that you may not even be thinking of, that once you conserve this energy, that you will be able to have the energy that it takes to create something beautiful in your life, for others, for your community, for your family, and even the world. Hi, Ariana and Lorena. So there's seven, these seven things. So when you're, before I start talking to you about what these seven things are, what I would like for you to do is really get centered, get grounded in yourself. Some of these seven things uh, may really jump out at you as like, oh shit, I probably need to do that. Some of them may not apply to you at all. So discard the ones that don't apply to you. And what we're really doing is listening for the resonance with the ones that do apply to you because those are the ones that you are supposed to focus on for 2018, okay? But it should start today. So even if you only choose two of these, if you only hear one or two of those things, those two things, if you take them seriously, Seriously and get to task with them will conserve your energy and before you know it you will have a storehouse of love a storehouse of energy for you to start sharing in where you actually want them to share to start creating 
to start creating the projects and the visions that you've been dreaming of for a very long time. So who's ready to hear the seven things? Who's ready to hear them? Okay. And I'm going to try not to cuss the whole time, but I'm telling you when the angels come to me in a sense of urgency, the way that I filter it is through a lot of cussing. So, <laughs> so I'm going to try to take it easy, but I may not. I may not, okay? So when you do hear cuss words, if you do hear cuss words, those are my filter. That's not really the angels or God cussing. That's just me just getting passionate about this stuff. Okay. So the mandate number one is to quit dumping your energy into people and projects that give you very little in return, okay? So right now, think about that. Feel into that and what that means. Quit dumping your energy into people and projects that give you very little in return. So, where in your life right now are you putting energy into constantly, but you're not getting fed back, okay? So we could take it down to a really basic thing. What if you live in a house with your, your partner and children and you're the only one that cleans up? You're the only one that cleans anything and you keep doing it and you keep doing it and you keep doing it and secretly you're building resentment. So that is something to take extremely seriously because all that energy that you're spending is energy that you can store up to fulfill a deeper purpose, a deeper mission. So if that's what's happening, you, you can, you know, ask others in the house to help out or you can get a, um, a mommy's helper or you can, you know, hire someone at a very, you know, reasonable price to help you out. But now is the time to really not underestimate the energy that you're putting into these things where you're getting more and more depleted. So you got me? Okay, great. So that stuff, those old roles that we're playing, we can't do that anymore. Now let's talk about friends, okay? When it comes to that dumping your energy. So there's people that are like your ultimate friends and then people who are just like you're friendly with, that you end up spending time with. And you know those people that you feel a little depleted by? I'm not talking about overly toxic people. That shit should be obvious when it comes to toxic people. Get rid of that shit, enough already, okay? I'm talking about the medium, the medium people, where you end up, maybe you get around them and they talk your ear off, they tell you all their problems, but maybe there's not enough room for you, you don't get to respond back. Those are kind of medium people. Get rid of that shit too. You don't have energy for that, and you definitely are not here to just be someone sounding board if you're not receiving or getting nourished by this. So what are those relationships that you secretly go, I don't really feel like doing it, but I, I might as well uh, take that ser seriously, okay? So you know who you are, okay? Also, other projects that you're doing, what if you're just doing an excessive amount of volunteering because it's the right thing to do? because you want to be helpful, but it's secretly depleting you. Stop that shit. You're not going to win any awards. Stop that. Right now uh, is an important time for you to conserve your energy. And what I didn't say in the beginning that I'm going to say now is 2018 is a year of acts of service. It's a year of being of service. Um, and, and, and you have an opportunity to really step into a higher level of power when it comes to being of service. So that's why they're really drilling down here, these day-to-day -day things that you need to take care of so you have the energy to be of service in the way that you envision. So, sounds good so far? That's number one, quit dumping your energy into people and projects. And here's a great way to figure this out, okay? How do you know if it's a project that you really don't want to do or people you really don't want to hang out with? Here's my litmus test. When you think about doing it, is it a fuck yes? Because if it's not a fuck yes this year, it's a no, okay? 2018, we're getting serious about this shit. It's not just a, well, maybe. You need a fuck yes. And so if it's not a fuck yes, it's a no. Remember that. Number two. Quit lying to yourself about how unworthy you are. And you know who you are, you sneaky little sweet people who think you're just so, so, so just mild and can't make an impact and don't deserve good things. You need to stop that. So pretending to be small really isn't helping anybody. 
and is surely not helping the people that you came here to serve. And you know who you are, right? You dream about helping people in a, in a, in a, in a, in a little way. You dream about putting on a cool workshop, but you're like, I don't know how to do that. Yeah. That's a sign that you feel like you're not worthy of it and can't make an impact. Spirit is saying, stop that shit. Okay. Really spirit saying, stop that. I'm the one who added the shit. Okay. So you got to stop acting like you have nothing to offer and start stepping into the truth of who you are. And so if you, if, and when you claim your awesomeness, the world will respond in kind. And so my best solution for this is you fake it till you make it. Even if you feel unworthy, you still let yourself and make yourself do some very cool shit. That is the best way to start making an impact now. So you may be tricking yourself right now. Oh, I'm not good enough for that. I don't really know what I'm doing. You don't have to know what you're doing. You're here. Your soul knows what you're doing. But and when you step into a greater platform, whether it's this, this beautiful workshop, whether it's this beautiful workshop or where, whether it's, you know, just having a women's circle or whether it's create writing a book, when you step in and make yourself do that, you will find very quickly that you do know what you're doing, but you can't do that if you keep doubting yourself. So you are worthy. And so do something about it. Do something cool. Do something that sounds so exciting to you, but it may terrorize you at the same time, but it's still super exciting to you. Okay. Number three. Quit messing around with people that overtly abuse you. So you know who those people are and you know who you are. This is for you. If you're still chilling in a relationship where you are being taken advantage of, this is a little bit different from number one. This one is a direct, direct statement to you. If you are in an office environment, that's abusive. If you are in a neighborhood, that's abusive to you. You have an abusive neighbor. You need to stop taking shit from other people. You deserve more and you know it. So usually I'm pretty casual about this stuff. I just feel like everyone needs to follow their own path. That's not happening this year. This year is time to get fucking real and start finding people that, that, deserve your loving kindness that can take care of your sensitive heart and environments that support that heart. So if you or you know anyone that is still saying yes to abusive relationships because they're too afraid to get out, please get the support that you need to get the fuck out and help other people. Help get them a pathway out of abuse because all of us have something beautiful inside. And sometimes you can actually use this energy, this energy that you're spending just surviving, just staying alive, just staying in this, in this abusive relationship. That is potent, powerful energy that you are dumping into this situation that you can start dumping in other directions to be of profound service, perhaps to other people who have a hard time getting out of abusive relationships. So now's the time. Now's the time. The angels, God, were supporting you and moving out of the abuse. No more abuse, okay? No more. So, I hope you're listening. And like I said, find good people around you that can support you or get another job. And don't tell yourself you can't get another job. Get another job. Quit taking the abuse, okay? Okay, great. Number four, I train a lot of people in intuitive healing. And I, I work with a lot of amazing people all over the world to help bring their truth, bring their power, bring their skill sets, bring their gifts into the world. And the one thing that they all have in common is they do not like putting themselves out there. They don't like selling. They don't like marketing themselves. They're very shy and they just really want everyone to just notice how gifted they are from afar. And that's, that's really not how it works. So this is what I want to say to you guys. If you're dreaming of having a successful, heartfelt, heartfelt business, now is the time to put yourself out there. Now's the time to let people see how amazing you are, okay? 2018 is the year. We have a world to change, and we have to do it together, and we surely can't do it if you're still playing shy and you're still in hiding. So, bold actions 
produce bold rewards. So if it feels scary to you and you're hiding and you don't want people to know yet, you really want the whole world to know, start taking bold actions to be seen. Start telling people what you do. Start telling people your vision, your dream. Start owning what you know, what you know, the truth of what you know. We need you right now. The world needs you. We are in crisis. We are in crisis, and the only people are gonna, that are going to change the world are people like you. So we have to get out, stop being shy, and start speaking up and telling the truth. Quit hiding behind a paycheck. Quit hiding behind your family. Quit hiding behind, oh, I'm a mother. I can't. Stop it. Get out there. Tell the truth. Now, I am a wife and a mother of two. Okay, so I understand what it's like to play so many roles that like, I don't have the time. That's what I'm addressing right now. We're trying to show you the steps on how you can make more time and more energy for yourself. So how are you? If you're one of those people, how can you today make something happen? How can you today start owning and saying who you are, what you do, and how you want to serve and help people? Okay, now here's, here's one of my favorites. Quit being poor. Now, this is what I mean by that. I just need you to know, personally, I am so tired of meeting the most amazing, heart-centered, gifted people that have no cash. Why? Why? Why is it important for people like you, all of us, all of the heart-centered people, to have cash. Why? It's because we are in the process of this great change on the planet. We are in the process of stepping into power, but we cannot step into power if we are not properly funded. How can we get our message out if we don't have proper funding? So what I want to say to you is if you think cash is not important, yet you feel like you have a mission here, you better get straight with yourself and start asking spirit for an avalanche of, avalanche of cash to come to you on tap. We are going to need that much funding. We surely don't want all the, all the sucky and the greedy folks to keep the cash. That cash needs to come to you. So, okay, great. So you guys can see me. I'm just seeing someone can't see me. So you guys need to take it seriously, the cash thing seriously. And the way to get cash is not by sitting around and freaking praying. The way to get cash, now that's one step, okay? I'm not saying prayer is not a big support because that's what helped me. But then the next step is to get creative about cash. If you think that the way that you're going to run into an avalanche of cash is by working 40 hours a week at Walmart, you got to think again, sister and brother. There's a whole different way to make cash out there, and it comes through your soul, it comes through your intuition, and it comes from your creativity. Now, here's the thing. You can't be creative if you're spending time with abusive people, you're letting other people suck the life out of you by dumping your precious, precious fuel, your precious energy. You can't be creative and make space to listen to your guidance if you're too busy uh, just messing around with shit that, doesn't, that isn't going to serve your bottom line. So take that one seriously. So many, I grew up poor, okay? And I was poor for most of my life. And it wasn't until I took that shit seriously and started asking for wealth that start, things started happening for me. Now it took a few years, it took time, but I took it seriously and I started learning everything I could about business, about how to get my message out there, about pri opening up a private practice. Like these are skills you have to learn. You don't just magically learn how to make a bunch of cash. So think of it as going back to school and changing your mindset. Hang out with people that do have cash so you can understand what it is that they did to open up their life. But again, if you think that working at Walmart or wherever it is that you're having to work just to make a paycheck you're going to have to up level your consciousness there and start thinking more like a mogul as if you can do it too. There are all kinds of dumbasses out there who are millionaires. You're smarter than that. So how do they do it? Right? How do they do it? You can do it too. Yay. <laughs> okay. 
Number six is, and you'll know who you are when I say this, make your mission. Okay, here, here's number, number six. Quit focusing on finding prince or princess charming. And you know who you are where that's your number one thing that you want to do. Okay? So, here's a trick. Instead of focusing on prince and princess charming and finding your ultimate love match and twin flame and soulmate, you need to be focusing on how you're going to make your mission and your act of service your ultimate lover. When you step into your soul, when you start fulfilling your soul mission and start pumping that sexual energy into your mission, you become, un you become wildly radiant and actually magnetic. When you are leading a life that you are inspired by, you become an inspiration for others and you become extremely attractive to others, okay? So remember that you're not gonna, especially, especially if you are not making any cash, okay? Where should your focus be? Get your foundation in order. Be the person that you want to attract, right? You be the be the person that's 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 happy and inspired and 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 then you begin attracting the kind of people that you want. So it starts with you and your soul mission. Make sweet love to your heartfelt business. May, and when you do, when you make sweet love to your heartfelt business or your heartfelt mission, you start writing that book, you start teaching those workshops, you will see that the love that you get is 100-fold than any human can give you, especially if you, it is spirit-driven, spirit-driven and soul-driven and is part of the work and your mission that you came here to do. So what is your mission? And focus on that. Pump it with all kinds of good juju and watch what happens. And last but not least, quit wallowing in confusion and begin taking sacred action. Confusion is an illusion. I've never met someone who is actually confused actually confused. Usually they have the answer right there. They know exactly what to do. It's right in their heart. They're just a little afraid of the answer because it means, it means taking a higher level of responsibility and we're also afraid of failing or even worse, succeeding. So you know exactly what your first step is. You know exactly what you need to do. All it takes is slowing down a little bit putting your hand over your heart and listening. And here's the question to ask if you're confused about how do I get myself out of this situation? How can I, how, how can I really make this, this cool thing happen that I'm dreaming of? What you do, your new meditation is a daily practice of putting your hand over your heart and asking, how can I serve? How can I serve? And it can even just be, how can I serve today? And then you listen and whatever you hear at a heart level will not deplete you. It will invigorate you. It will excite you because it's coming from your soul, not from society's demands. So how can I serve is your new meditation, especially if you're one of those people who keeps pretending that they're confused. Now, I know people believe that they're confused, and I know confusion can be very confusing, but I'm telling you, you are wise beyond anything that you can imagine. You have everything that you need right there inside of you, and this is your year to start activating it and taking that shit seriously and clearing your plate of all the slop that is sucking on your energy. So 2018 is a year of service. It's also a year of energy and getting activated. And so what are the things that you're so angry about that you want to fight about, right? Is it, is it poverty? Is it hunger around the world? Is it, is it mental, emotional disease? Is it abuse? What are your jams? Like what do you just really want to sink your teeth into? If you could just get wave a magic wand and get rid of it all, what? would you do? Those might be great places to start. Those might be, be, find out how you can support those missions. Again, we need to, the power shift to happen. And it's not going to shift until we all step into our power, start owning our truth, start our owning who we are. Yes. So those are the seven mandates, you guys. 
And like I said, they may have come across a little intense, but there's a sense of urgency for you to take yourself seriously. No one's going to take you seriously until you do. So if you're waiting for someone to come and just break you out of this prison, that person starts with you. You're the only one that's going to do that. And when you start doing it for yourself, you will be supported by God, by spirit, and you will start seeing the support of others. It's it's about commanding the respect of who you are as a beautiful being who's here to make an incredible impact. I, you, you are one of us. If you're listening to this still, you are one of this, one of us. So how do you want your life to be upgraded? How, where do you want your life to be upgraded? And if you want that upgrade, you're going to have to take these seven things seriously. What do you need to get off your plate? What do you need to adjust? Mental habits. What do you need to, what do you need to do? You need more cash? Take that shit seriously. Start doing rituals every day, but also take sacred actions to go make different kinds of cash. There's a whole global market out there, people. There's people making tons of, tons of cash, making, making little, little jewelry jewelry you know etsy anyways do your research people get creative and so for those of you who really sense that you're you're on the precipice of sh making a shift that you're shifting up into a whole new light and life a whole new service and you're starting to feel that light warrior energy that that energy inside of you where you're like you know i am done with this shit and i need i need more help we just open up the inner sanctum the Inner Sanctum is my membership site where people just like you gather and support each other to help rock their missions in the world. So every Sunday I send you new inspiration, a new meditation, and a new healing. And and you it's your task to do that work. So if you're someone who needs reminders and you need to be bolstered and you need this constant in your face like hey people you're here to do something the inner sanctum is for you so if you want to check it out it's www.theinnersanctum.com we just opened the doors yesterday again we're going to close them down very shortly if you sign up today the first i believe we're down to 10 people the first 10 people who sign up will receive a 30 minute one-on-one -on -one healing from one of my angel intuitive healers a, a, one of my angel alchemists so they are intuitive healers and they will do a one-to-one -one session for you for free okay so that that is something to do also we have an audio library that's full of things for empaths so if you're a sensitive person and you need to declutter de-stress so you can rock your mission the audio library is full of energy practices and cool stuff like cord cutting space clearing and clearing your money blocks okay for those people who are doing the whole poor thing you got to stop that shit so if you sign up today in the email you will get your first money clearing meditation today in the email so we have a lot we have over 60 um over 60 meditations for you to do that people really love so please join us there if you are one of those people who came to this particular this particular live stream feeling that you have a mission and that you need support of like-minded people because we know who we are and usually we're the only one that we know of like that and we need other people in our lives so i love our community in the inner, inner sanctum please do join us there www.theinnersanctum.com. We will be beginning a seven week program for free in the Inner Sanctum that's angel based, that helps you open up your spiritual gifts, helps you tap into the divine. So if you have a hard time aligning with the divine and getting your intuition clearly, that seven week program will be ideal. And that's something we, I used to sell for $333. That's the value on it. That's something that comes with the Inner Sanctum because that's how important it is for me that you understand the power that is inside of you and the power of working with spirit to help you manifest exactly what you need and so much more. So please do join us there. And Sissy saying, I love the inner sanctum. Ah, oh, thank you guys. Oh, Ray, I love you too. So can, can you guys, who's, who's committing to at least one of these seven mandates? Can you raise your hand or let me know who's committing to at least one of those seven mandates. Yes, good. So write those, write the ones down. Catherine's saying, hell yes, right? 
Yes. And so I hope the Inner Sanctum is a fuck yes, people. Come at least check it out. It's a monthly membership. It's $22 a month. You can cancel at any time. So it's like, you know, it's a no-brainer. And you get to meet some, probably some of the best friends of your life in there. So <laughs> Lara's doing all of them. Rochelle's in. Rochelle is he? Rochelle, you are doing it. Yes. Louise is saying she's committing to them all. Paul is committing to them. Yeah, no more half-ass shit, you guys. No more half-ass people in your life. I know we're afraid of being lonely, but sometimes we need to dig into ourselves and realize we are the best companion, the best lover that we can ever have. So Carrie's committing to all of them. Yay. Okay, you guys, love to you all. Man, I'm I'm hoping that 2018 is just bombastically awesome for you that you're rocking your mission in bombastic ways and again it would be an honor for me to help to continue to support you uh along the way so loving it john is all in uh uh Lo is saying could you send a summary with this with the seven are, are you talking about the seven week program uh let me just see if i know that the top of my head I know it's, we meet your guardian angels, we do clearing and healing on your intuitive gifts, and we teach you about your clairvoyance, your clairaudience, your clairsentience, and teach you how to know what your, what your primary gift is. We also take you on a journey into your relationships and healing the blocks that prevent you from having healthy and loving relationships. We also do a whole piece, a whole week on clearing your unconscious blocks towards wealth and, and money. There is one, there is one week that is a secret sauce. So I'm not going to tell you about that. That's the last week. It's a really good freaking week, but the, that, that is it. If you want to learn more about the archangels, learn what the different archangels do and actually learn how to channel them and write down messages for yourself. Um, it's, it's a really great program. Program. So I, I'm hoping that you guys do do that with us in the inner sanctum. And Louise is saying, thank you for these seven reminders of a journey I've already begun in 2017. That's why it's been an intense year. Yes, Louise, it gets intense. It gets intense when you really start getting clear. Okay. Yes. And Irina saying she started clearing and will follow the advice. Good. It's just really getting down to the basics this year. You guys just clean your plate. No more pussyfooting around it. No more like, oh, well, I got to be nice. You are not here to be nice. You're here to show up for yourself and for your soul. So no more nice. Just show up for yourself. Tell the truth. And no, if it's not a fuck, yeah, fuck no, it's a yes. Okay, love to you all again. Thank you so much. And we will be chatting soon, hopefully. Happy New Year, everyone, and happy holidays.